Berkshire Museum, we are always trying to find really interesting exhibitions that um, reflect the museum's collection. We have a really diverse collection of natural science, art, art historical objects, and um, we also have a very unique audience. We have a general audience that includes families, um, people of all ages that come to the Berkshire Museum, some of them very interested in the arts, some of them interested in natural science. So um, putting together this Escher exhibition sort of fits all of those needs. Escher is one of those artists who really does blend his interests in the arts with the natural world. So if you look around and you look at the work, you will see that Escher is incorporating that keen interest that he had in the natural world into his art, whether it be things that he worked on that he observed directly in nature, like the early work of his Italian period, or of the later work that comes strictly from his imagination, but is filled with a, um, a whole menagerie of whimsical lizards, birds, fishes, and the like. And so he's a really great artist to show at the Berkshire Museum because he bridges um, the interests of people of all ages and from all backgrounds. Um, children can actually connect to this work and you see that we're sitting at an interactive table here with lizard puzzles that um, are Escher, Escher lizards. Um, we try to incorporate all kinds of ways that people can connect to the art, whether it be directly hands-on, interactive, um, or the way that we do talk about the art through the exhibition panels and that kind of thing. I think it's a really great message for students as well that um, there are many ways to approach disciplines and that um, you can overcome and you can, with, through determination and tenacity, you can actually achieve the unachievable, which is really the message that we have um, that Escher gives to people. Hi, I'm Jeremy Goodwin. I am the Director of Communication here at Berkshire Museum, and I am standing right at the opening panel of M.C. Escher, Seeing the Unseen, which is lots and lots of fun. Let's take a look. This is one of my favorite things in the exhibition, and it's one of the first things you see. Here's M.C. Escher's pencil case, pencils, his drawing triangle, carbon paper, graph paper, and that wonderful little decal from the studio of M.C. Escher. I think that's just so cool. And part of Seeing the Unseen, the name of this exhibition, is about peeling back some of the mystery about Asher himself and showing the person behind all this great work and his preparatory drawings and his traces and the way his work developed over the years and learn a little bit about the person himself. Now, part of what's special about MC Escher Seeing the Unseen is we have lots of prints that are almost never on view for the public, um, such as these two right here. Um, these are two uh, pen and ink works by Escher from earlier in his career from the collection of the Boston Public Library, which were basically in storage, out of sight, and we are delighted to be able to put them on view for people here in this show. Here it is, Metamorphosis number three. This may be the longest print in the world. It was assembled from 20 woodcuts and this is one of Escher's real masterpieces. It's so long in fact we can only, and to preserve, to preserve the print, we can only display a portion of it at a time. Every two weeks we come in and rotate it to pull it out to show a different part of the scroll. But this is um, one of five prints in the world of Metamorphosis number three. So we are just delighted to get to show this to the visitors of Berkshire Museum. This is one of the interactive stations at MC Escher Seeing the Unseen, where we see a lot of people spend a lot of time. And this is all about tessellations. This is a little puzzle, and I have seen people sit here and pretty much get lost for what appear to be hours at a time. Um, piecing these together in such a way that there is no space left between them, and people get very, very intent. If you come to the show and see this table filled with people staring at these, do not interrupt them because they do not want to have their concentration broken. Um, you know what, you might want to just keep going. I'm going to spend a little time here. Now, 
Part of making this a three-dimensional immersive experience here is, for instance, we have this wonderful 1956 piece called Print Gallery. Um, and then we have the animation work of some folks who have put this into motion. And we have a couple different videos throughout the exhibition that show you the original print and then animate it with the motion that is sort of implied by the print itself. Some fun stuff. I don't know, what do you think? 1970-ish polyester interpretation of Three Worlds by M.C. Escher? I don't know, if the occasion called for it, I suppose. Um, one of the nice things about this show is we see this original print, Three Worlds, back in the first gallery and get a close look at that original woodcut print, and then we get to 1970 where we see how that was spun out into culture. So we sort of see these pieces in all different contexts. Escher was not a fan of these kinds of pieces. These were pirated images that people colorized and turned into these black light posters. But we have it here in the show for a couple reasons. One, we're demonstrating the influence of Escher in our culture over the years. And two, let's be honest, it's pretty fun.